praise the Lord. Asimbo Bukos, we are saying inevitably restoring God's original intent. And as young people who have said hashtag, Godliness in our time. Hashtag. Tonight we are going to talk about the power basis for so, inevitably restoring God's original intent. The power basis for God's original intent restoration or for inevitably restoring God's original intent. But before we read the word, I have a short story. As we are moving forward, struggling in the midst of a crooked and perverse world, we need to open our double eyes when we are looking at the world. When it cannot cause us to change radically, it will use camel tactics. A man was traveling in the wilderness on a very hot day with his camel and stuff. It became very hot one day on the sands of the desert. He retired to have some shelter there was not even as one as many as one trees outside so the captain was moving about under the heat and he realized it is going to die from the heat so it came to the and it said to him, please, if you can only allow my head to be I will be fine. So the man thought, what is the head of a camel? He allowed the camel to pull in the head. When the head was in, And by that time, the man was pressed. He needed to go out of the tent, go somewhere and come back. So respond to nature. When he came back, the whole camel was in the shelter. When you allow just a little bit of the world, you must know it is going to come in like this camel. Sometimes as we raise our children, there are things we say they must do in church. Thank you. 
It's when the camel is pulling in its head first. And then the neck. And then the shoulders. And ultimately the whole camel and you out of the house. Acts chapter 4. Verses 5 up to 22. Acts chapter 4, beginning at verse 5 up to verse 22. Verses 5 to 22. Acts chapter 4, from verse 5 up to 22. And it came to pass on the next day that they are the rulers, elders and scribes, as well as Anes, the high priest, and Cephas, John, and Alexander, and as many as were of the family of the high priest were gathered together in Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day a judge for a good deed done to a helpless man. By what means he has been made well? Let it be known to you all, and know all, and, sorry, and to all the people and of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. By him, this man stands here before you. Who? Oh, this is the stone which was rejected by you, builder, which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, perceived and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus. And seeing the man who had been healed standing with them, nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred amongst themselves, saying, What shall we do to this man? For indeed, what? that a notable miracle has been done through them is evident to all who dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. But so that it spreads no further among the people, let us severely threaten them that from now on they speak to no man in, the, in, his, in this name. So they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, no teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said to them, Whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you more than to God, you judge. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they found them, they let them go, finding no way of punishing them because of the people, since they all glorified God for what they had what they, what had been done. For the man was over forty years old on whom this miracle of healing had been performed. Amen. Baba we to mwele isila koni apila ni namanda moya ukshanga ni pamoya ukonda 
Moya wabasu Moya wazi na wesama mkulungulu Iskati sako nesi tinagasta wabani Umawe na unga watulu langwe fisele na pezu wetu Jesu nama na fugana Uba manja vela wazange fele na pansi wongshama mfuse Nati siya tandaza Uze swise ni jomo yako Si pena wa manja Geka maniga Jesu Christi kwa sietu Amen Amen Inevitable restoration power bases Ugumuisela amani Noma ugume amanda Noma isosi amanda Ugumuisele The world is ruled by spirits It's a little Three types of spirits in the world There is the spirit of men The spirit of the devil and the spirit of God Everything in life has a spirit Everything before it comes into a physical nature It begins in the spiritual realm Even if you want to use people In everything in life for it to be successful You must receive the spirit of the being If we are going to inevitably restore God's intent